didn't have the funding to carry our activity live. You know, Nigerians would have seen very beautiful things. Uh, I think this is important. You need to uh, get even uh, investors, entrepreneurs to know that uh, this is available and where it's available so that they know who to go to and so on. But I agree with you, there are other challenges. Uh, you know, finances, uh, funding is important. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, funding, uh, the, the ministry is working on a National Research and Innovation Fund. Uh, it will take some time, but uh, I know that it will come into existence. The important thing is that we have started. Uh, this is something that should have happened 30 years ago. But, uh, you know, uh, we just started it uh, last year and we're working very hard on it. And once we're able to have that fund, there will also be a science and technology uh, bank. And we think that bank will help because uh, today in the country there is a paucity of uh, venture uh, capital. Uh, we don't have venture capitalists the way uh, Americans uh, do or even uh, European, many European countries. So we believe that uh, science and technology uh, you know, bank will be very helpful in making sure that we overcome the funding challenge. For instance, now, the, the car you rode in, you know, how do you intend to move a step f further you know, away from what we saw? Oh, no, we, you know, the man won the second prize. You yeah. know, so he, I think he's, he's gone home with about uh, half a million. You know, so oh, I'm, I'm sure by now they should have given him that money. But, but that car, I just rode in it because you know, it's just to show uh, what uh, Nigerians can do. This is somebody uh, not with the level of education that uh, we will ascribe to those who can uh, you know, uh, get a car, put a car together. And he had, you know, you can see the creativity. He took the engine, uh, motorcycle, and then made sure that every other thing was available in the country. But you know, to have a wooden car, uh, is not something that we will really prescribe for now uh, because you know you have to strengthen the wood if it's uh, so that it can resist impact in case of but it's not really about the wooden car is it it's about the the, the idea behind you know actually bringing up uh, manufacturing a car so to speak so but what next after that ride oh no the ride is very significant look the you can't believe it the the not just himself the, the family you know uh, he came with his brother and you know, to say, look, this is something. Uh, so we, we will encourage him. Uh, we're going to encourage him. I, actually, it is not for government uh, to uh, play the, the sort of role that you and I were discussing here with respect to commercialization. We prefer the uh, private sector to do so because they are best suited uh, to uh, commercialize uh, research findings uh, because uh, what we are doing is to take the risk away f you know, from them. We, by the time you do research and it gets to a level where it can be commercialized, you've taken away a lot of risk uh, and uh, many people in uh, the private sector, they won't want to invest money into research uh, and uh, they don't know when and how the uh, you know, that research will end and so on. So we are working very hard uh, on uh, the private sector uh, to come in at this time and help us to commercialize for the sake of the nation. We, we have succeeded uh, to some degree. Uh, you know, the beginning is always difficult. Uh, we got uh, uh, two important uh, companies in the country, May and Baker, they are working on two. Nasco Food uh, Limited has already commercialized uh, this high nutrient density biscuit, and which, uh, incidentally, countries, uh, uh, in other countries are showing interest, you know, and um, even the military. Uh, is also uh, interested. So uh, we believe that the commercialization will be done by the private sector. Now you're developing a 13-year science and tech roadmap. Yes. And of course, we know that in it, you intend that Nigeria becomes a major leader in, in terms of science and technology. But is this really feasible at this time? Oh, it is. It is. We have capacity. And, and that, is, that is, I tell you frankly, that is one thing that the Expo is supposed to do. 
And this expo has shown that we have capacity. All that we need now is for Nigeria as a country and Nigeria, Nigerians as a people to now know that, look, if we want to get to where we, we believe we should be, we can't do it without science and technology. Because science and technology affects every sector. People are now talking about science and technology more than they ever did in the past. Do, do, do you see a lot of willingness from the private sector to make this happen? Yes. Uh, you know, change is normally uh, difficult. But, uh, you know, so far, uh, we, we have encouraging signs. And uh, we are going to work more on this. Uh, I will reach out more to uh, known investors on one-to-one -one basis and explain to them the need for them you know, to come in and invest uh, to commercialize our research finding. I, I think also uh, it's important uh, to see how we can redirect the thinking you know, of Nigerians. We want to let Nigerians know that, look, instead of emphasizing just trading, you know, buying things from abroad. We can talk of, you know, manufacturing. I know there are challenges, serious problems, because we can produce and also trade. You can produce and, because once you produce, you must also trade, you know, it's important. But this idea of now relying on production outside, I think is, uh, we cannot sustain it. In the past, when the price of crude oil was $100 and above, yes, you can, but now it's not possible.